What if you could install a success mindset in just five minutes? Most people will never learn what happens when you breathe in a very specific pattern, but what I'm about to share was discovered in neuroscience labs and is now quietly used by the world's most elite performers. The researchers themselves were shocked when they saw the brain scans. This isn't about motivation. It's about neuroscience. It's about rewiring the very architecture of your brain to build unshakable focus and eliminate stress. They do it with a tool you already possess. It's not an expensive gadget or a secret training regimen. It's their breath. Today, we're breaking down the science of how a specific breathing technique rewires your neural pathways for success. Then, I'm going to walk you through the exact routine used by Navy SEALs and top-tier CEOs to guarantee peak performance. Section 1. The Problem of the Modern Mind Let's be honest. Our brains are under siege from an age of infinite distraction and constant pressure. The result is a state of chronic, low-grade anxiety. A scattered mind where clear, confident decisions feel impossible. This state is driven by the sympathetic nervous system, your body's fight-or-flight response. When triggered, your breathing becomes shallow, your heart rate increases, and your body is flooded with cortisol, the stress hormone. This response was designed for survival, but in the modern world, it gets triggered by a looming deadline or even just scrolling social media. Living in this state doesn't just feel bad, it actively sabotages your success. It clouds judgment and cripples creativity. You can't perform at an elite level if your nervous system is in a constant state of emergency. This is the exact problem that elite operators like Navy SEALs are trained to overcome. In a combat situation, a hijacked nervous system means mission failure. A moment of panic or a lapse in focus are luxuries they cannot afford. So they train not just their bodies, but their biology. They use a tool to manually override the panic switch. This tool is known as box breathing. But here's what most people get wrong. They think it's just about relaxation. The secret to its power lies in its ability to directly communicate with your brain and nervous system, telling it, I am in control. By practicing it, you are not just managing stress, you are fundamentally changing how your brain responds to it in the future. You are building the neurological foundation of success. Section 2. The Science of the Rewire So, how can something as simple as breathing create such a profound change? It's not magic. It's neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to rewire itself. Think of your brain like a highway system. Most people have traffic jams in the areas that control anxiety and scattered thinking. But when you breathe in a specific pattern, you're literally building new neural superhighways that bypass the chaos and connect directly to your success centers. Box breathing is the act of deliberately carving this new path. Here's how it works on a biological level. First, you are directly stimulating the vagus nerve. Think of it as your brain's master reset button. When you slow down your exhale, you send a signal up the vagus nerve that tells your brain, Everything is safe. Stand down from high alert. Your heart rate slows, your blood pressure drops, and your body shifts out of its reactive state. It's a physiological reset button. Second, this process changes your brain chemistry. Consistent practice reduces the production of cortisol, the stress hormone that clouds thinking. Simultaneously, your brain increases its production of GABA, a neurotransmitter that acts like a brake pedal, producing a sense of calm and quiet focus. It's like upgrading your brain's operating system while it's still running. Third, you are rewiring critical brain regions. Researchers at institutions like Stanford have observed measurable changes in the prefrontal cortex after just a few weeks of consistent breathwork practice. The prefrontal cortex is your brain's CEO, responsible for executive functions like decision-making, emotional regulation, and focused attention. By practicing box breathing, you are strengthening the neural circuits in this region, making it more resilient to the emotional hijacking attempts of the amygdala, your brain's fear center. 
Recent studies further confirm that voluntary breathing control directly engages a brain circuit connecting the frontal cortex to the brainstem, providing a clear pathway for how we can consciously regulate our emotional state. Let's break down the timeline. In the first week, you might feel resistance. Your mind will wander. Holding your breath might feel uncomfortable. This is normal. It's the feeling of your brain resisting a new path. Your job is to persist. By week two, something fascinating occurs. The increase in GABA begins to take effect, and you'll notice moments of quiet you didn't have before. Neuroimaging studies show increased connectivity between your prefrontal cortex and your limbic system. In plain English, your logical brain starts overriding your emotional brain. This is why successful people seem unshakable. By week three, the most remarkable change occurs. Your default mode network, the brain activity when you're not actively thinking, shifts from anxious rumination to what researchers call solution-focused processing. Instead of your mind wandering to problems, it starts automatically seeking opportunities. By week four and beyond, these changes are physically cementing themselves. The new neural pathway for calm is becoming a well-trodden road. You have begun to install a new operating system for success. Section 3. The 5-Minute Tutorial How to Practice Box Breathing Now that you understand the science, let's implement it. The 4444 pattern isn't arbitrary. It's the precise rhythm that activates your parasympathetic nervous system while maintaining alertness. It's called box breathing because you can visualize traveling along the four equal sides of a box. You can do it anywhere, anytime. Find a comfortable position, sitting or lying down. Gently close your eyes. First, exhale completely. Get all the air out. Now we begin the box. Step 1. Inhale slowly through your nose for a count of four. Feel the air fill your lungs down into your belly. One, two, three, four. Step two, hold the breath at the top for a count of four. Don't create tension. Just be still. One, two, three, four. Step three, exhale slowly and steadily for a count of four. Feel your stomach contract. One, two, three, four. Step four, hold the breath at the bottom lungs empty, for a count of four. A moment of stillness. One, two, three, four. That is one cycle. Let's do three more together. I'll count. You just follow. Ready? Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Again. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Last one. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Now let your breathing return to normal. Notice the quiet. That is the feeling of your nervous system shifting gears. That is control. Your mission is to practice this for five minutes every day. But here's what you need to know before you start. Your brain will resist this change initially. Expect mental pushback. This is a sign the technique is working. The key is consistency over intensity. Five minutes daily beats one hour weekly, every single time. Your brain needs repeated exposure to encode this new pattern. Section 4. Application When and Where to Use This Technique Mastering this isn't just about a daily practice. It's about having a tool you can deploy in the real world. This is where the training meets the battlefield of daily life. Think of that moment before a high-stakes meeting. Your heart is pounding. This is your sympathetic nervous system hijacking your performance. Instead of being a victim to it, you now have a protocol. Excuse yourself for 60 seconds. Run through five cycles of box breathing. You are manually downregulating your nervous system, walking into that room with calm, focused clarity. Consider your daily transitions, like the commute home. Before you get out of your car, take two minutes. Exhale the stress of the day. Consciously shift your state. 
you are creating a boundary between your work and personal life. It's also an incredible tool for emotional regulation. In a heated discussion, you feel a surge of anger. Before you respond, take one cycle of box breathing. That 16-second pause creates just enough space between stimulus and response to choose a more intelligent path forward. You become a responder, not a reactor. Over time, something incredible happens. You don't just get better at using the technique. You need it less. Your baseline state becomes calmer. Your brain, having carved this new neural pathway, begins to take it automatically. This isn't mystical thinking. It's predictive processing. You train your unconscious mind to scan for success instead of danger. You're not just hacking your brain. You are building a new version of yourself from the inside out. For centuries, warriors and sages understood that whoever controls their breath controls their mind. What's remarkable is how ancient wisdom and cutting-edge neuroscience have converged on the same fundamental truth. We now have brain imaging that proves what they knew all along. Controlled breathing is the fastest way to upgrade human capability. The technique you learn today is not a relaxation exercise. It is neurological training, a system for taking command of your internal state. The power lies in its simplicity and consistency. Five minutes a day. That's the commitment. Knowledge without practice is just intellectual entertainment. You have the tool. You have the instruction manual. The only thing left is to begin. In one month, you won't just be doing box breathing, you'll be living with a different brain. A brain rewired for success.